our today's topic of discussion is introduction to modern electric drive system drives the system uh, which are employed for motion control is called as drive it can be a mechanical drive or it can be a electrical drive so our topic of discussion is uh, going towards the electric drive zone so these are the contents of the presentation here we will discuss about the basics of drives that is then the advantages disadvantages uh, the various applications of the drives etc then uh, we are going to cover uh, in this case the software which can be used uh, to simulate the drive uh, before its actual implementation then uh, the opportunities in the field uh, or what whatever the career paths you can go ahead with this particular knowledge in case of the application the main application if i say that is in case of electric drive is electric vehicles so you can think of the big domain which is going to open in front of you with the help of electric drive okay so when we say electric drive uh, in large number of industrial and domestic applications such as rolling mills uh, transport systems machine tools fans pumps or washing machines etc the motion control is needed the picture which shows that in case of the traction system that is electric vehicles uh, the electric drives are mainly being used so in this particular uh, webinar uh, we are going to discuss about what are the drives and uh, what they can be used so the system which are employed for the motion controlled uh, are known as the drive in that case the different prime movers uh, such as you may say the diesel engine steam turbine or the electric motor may be used uh, for that particular motion control but in that case when the electric motor is basically used for the motion control we called it as the electric drive so in other words uh, you can say a drive is a combination of various systems combined together for the purpose of motion control okay the picture uh, shows that uh, the abb drives uh, there are various big companies like abb crompton greaves danfoss are the leading manufacturers of the drives the abb all, uh, drive you can see in the picture uh, what is inside of this particular box or the black box you can say will be explained in this presentation so this uh, block is responsible for the motion control okay so in short uh, till now whatever we have discussed you should be able to understand the definition of electric drive that the drives are system which are employed basically for the motion control which requires the prime movers and in case of that prime movers if they employ electric motor as a prime mover then you will you will be calling it as an electric drive okay these are the basic components of electric drive system okay it has five main functional box namely power source power modulator motor mechanical load and the controller the controller is the combination of the sensing unit and the control unit so in that case for example uh, if you want to control a dc motor and you have ac supply with you so in that case you will require a con converter which will convert ac into the dc in that case the rectifier will come into picture and that in that case this power electronic converter or the power modulator will be your rectifier as we are talking about the speed control of the dc motor in that case so we will require the speed sensor the sensing unit will be your speed sensor 
and in this particular closed loop control scheme the digital controller or there may be analog controller also the control unit can be the pi controller pd controller pid controller pi stands for proportional integral controller proportional derivative controller or proportional integral derivative controller which will actuate the error we will be discussing all those things in the coming slides okay so uh, before going towards the modern electric drives uh, let's go with a small uh, discussion about the conventional electric drives here in this case we are controlling uh, this dc motor with the help of two more motors that is the dc generator and ac motor what do we want that we want to control the speed of this dc motor so that's why we are using ac motor we are controlling this ac motor and as per that the shaft of this dc generator will going to rotate and the generated dc supply we are going to give to the dc motor and then accordingly the load will work so such kind of uh, drive system we have seen i uh, means if uh, before you have uh, uh, read about this particular topics then you may know about the ward leonard scheme in that case uh, they were using the two dc motor one dc motor and one dc generator for controlling one particular dc motor so what we find in this particular case the system is very bulky the system is inefficient and the system is uh, not that much flexible okay because uh, for controlling one single motor two more motors we are going to use okay also the system will be very noisy because uh, if you have seen the dc motor in the running condition so in that case uh, you can say uh, the system will be very noisy okay so in case of the modern electric drive with the advent of power electronics we could able to come up with the modern electric drives in this system you can see uh, the conversion of the power can be possible with the help of this uh, power processor or power electronic converter so that's why the system is small the system is efficient and the system is flexible okay so uh, this particular scheme is the closed loop control scheme okay uh, and this control unit can be uh, means you may use the pi pid or uh, pd controller but that control unit uh, can be designed with the help of the microcontroller can be designed with the help of digital signal processor or the fpga or the plcs okay so if you want to improve this modern electric drive in that case we can go ahead with the change changes in the power source for example we are considering about the electric vehicle and when we are uh, why we are using the electric vehicle because the pollution is the main aspect and uh, for that the power source which is coming from the grid is uh, polluting uh, the environment so that's why you may go ahead with the renewable energy sources then in case of the control parameters one may go ahead with the power factor correction power electronic converters the non linear control strategies can be used the real time control strategies can be used the dsp can be applied in uh, while using that controller also uh, there can be the speed sensorless technologies are there and people are working on the machine design and machine theory to improve the machines so when if you want that the efficient drive system are to be there then one should think of the efficiency of each and every component that is efficiency of power source efficiency of power electronic converter efficiency of the controller efficiency of the sensor efficiency of the motor then and then the efficient modern electric drives can be there so uh, in that case let's discuss one by one what are the components are there 
so the first components which require in the the most important in case of the electric drive because i have said already the heart of the electric drive is the motor because if the motor is being used for the motion control then and then we are going to call it as the electric drive so the motor is used for the particular application will be selected by taking into account the different factors like the cost one will be the one of the parameter the level of power will be the one of the parameter and the performance uh, required by the load during steady state or the dynamic operation steady state means the condition uh, uh, when it will be at running smoothly and at the dynamic means when at the starting point or when the load is being increased in that case according to uh, means uh, as per the particular application what do you require accordingly you are going to use or you are going to select the motor so in case of the dc motor there can be the dc shunt motor uh, like when the shunt field is in parallel with the armature then there may be a series dc motor when this field is in series with the armature or there can be the compound motors like short shunt and long shunt okay so in that case this if uh, someone is using this dc motor then availability of the power source and then the different components can be selected okay so if you require the more torque then you may go ahead with the dc series motor and if uh, the torque requirement is not that much then the dc shunt motors are being used but uh, in the today's era the dc motors are being used only for the specialized applications because there are having different disadvantages like commutation uh, commutators are there the brushes need to be replaced the maintenance issues so that's why the people are using are going ahead with the ac motors like induction motor permanent magnet synchronous motors brushless dc motors stepper motors etc also uh, the people were using the bldc motors in the electric vehicles in most of the cases but uh, as there in an indian scenario if you may say there is a uh, less earth electromagnet uh, less permanent magnet is available or no i can say there is no availability of the permanent magnet so that's why in indian scenario the induction motor is better than that of the bldc motor in case of the electric vehicles okay so the motor is most important thing according to the motors uh, if whatever the motor you are going to use accordingly the and availability of the power the power source can be selected then uh, whether you are going for the position control whether you are going for the torque control whether you are going for the speed control the different sensors are required and the uh, the basic two types that is ac motor drives and dc motor drives are there so which particular motor you are going to use based on that that type of drives are being uh, created okay then the next thing comes into that the five fun uh, main functional blocks which i have told out of which the power source is there uh, the power source uh, supplies the required power or required form of the energy it can be uh, ac or it can be a dc in case in case of the ac it can be a single phase ac or three phase ac different frequency ranges can be there uh, we generally use 50 hertz and uh, the other countries they are using 60 hertz there can be low or medium power rating there can be high power rating like 3.3 kv 6.6 kv 11 kv etc in case of the traction uh, we go ahead with the 25 kv single phase 50 hertz for aircraft we require the 400 hertz supply for underground traction we require 500 to 700 50 volt dc the igatpuri uh, the mumbai line uh, in the western india was 1500 volt dc now they converted into the ac in case of the dc uh, there can be the bat different batteries like 6 volt 12 volt 24 volt 48 volt 110 volt etc uh, the batteries are being used in the electric vehicles uh, mostly 
so in that case uh, the power source and the motor which particular motor you are going to use and what is the availability of the power based on that you need to select an power modulator which will modulate the power from one part or one type to the another okay so in that case the converter uh, we require the converter is an interface between the motor and the power source it provides us the adjustable voltage adjustable current and frequency so in that case the function the main function of the converter is to convert an electric power to the form that the dc mo uh, that the motor can use for example let's say uh, we have the electric vehicle uh, that is in that case we are using the bldc or dc series motor let's say or we may say the induction motor we are using so in that case we require an inverter which is going to convert dc into ac okay so the power modulator is most important without the advent of the power electronics it was not possible to think of the modern electric drives okay so the power modulator can be of five different types uh, it can be ac to dc converter that is uh, we may say rectifier then dc to ac converter that is inverter then ac to ac converter that is regulator ac to dc converter chopper and ac to ac converter cyclo converter let's uh, discuss that if we have uh, the output side the dc supply is required that is motor can be uh, uh, let uh, let's say dc motor or the bldc motor in that case we require that uh, we may use the converter so that rectifier can be controlled rectifier or uncontrolled rectifier in case of the availability of the power source as the dc availability of the power source as the dc means battery is available and we are going to control the ac motor maybe an induction motor permanent magnet synchronous motor so in that case to control it we require the inverter okay of the mechanical loading or whatever the availability of the power source is independent of the controller used you may select or you may go ahead with the analog controller previously uh, we go ahead with that but uh, right now uh, with the advent of more uh, computing power the people are going with the digital controller whatever the difficulties we were facing with the digital controllers are nullified and uh, that's why uh, even though we are considering small disadvantage still the uh, digital controllers are better because in case of the digital controllers if you want to change something then you can change the algorithm that algorithm can be pi algorithm that algorithm can be pd algorithm that algorithm can be pid algorithm or the hysteresis bipolar hysteresis or whatever the advanced uh, technologies you want to implement with the help of digital controller is possible easily in case of the analog controller you need to change each and every component to meet the requirements so that's why i will i suggest that the one should go ahead with the digital controllers okay uh, for example for the semiconductor uh, converter the control unit is the firing circuit uh, in that case the for that firing the different uh, mechanism or different switching patterns we can use uh, that can be pwm that is pulse width modulated sv to pwm or spwm uh, can be used also the plcs are used as the control units not only plcs you may go ahead with the microcontroller you may go ahead with the arduino if you are comfortable with it the generally people right now are using the dsps in many of the things uh, also the fpgas that is field programmable gate arrays are people being used in case of the control unit to create the controllers also in case of the sensors means whatever the requirement uh, means you may go ahead with the speed sensors torque sensors position sensors in that case the current and voltage sensors are also required through which the control can be possible and in some of the cases uh, one may go ahead with the temperature sensors also as per the requirement
uh, in case of the modern electric drive okay so when there are the different mechanical drives were there why one should go ahead with the electric drives so for the accurate and the continuous control of the speed position or the torque of the variable load the adjustable speed drives are required the different reasons uh, which are responsible for using of the electric drives are to achieve high efficiency okay because the electric drive allows a wide range of power to be used from milliwatt to megawatts at different speeds and also it reduces the overall cost of the device okay also if you want that the precision control because in case of the conventional electric drives also which we have discussed in that case for controlling one dc motor it it is not possible uh, that to generate a proper uh, dc supply with the help of that dc generator so that's why there is not uh, that flexibility and uh, the precise output is also not possible but here in this case with the help of the modern electric drive precise stopping and the reversing of the motor is possible like in case of the induction motor if you think only by reversing the two phases you can reverse the operation means if the conveyor in case of the conveyor belt if you may think in that case the reversing uh, operation is mostly required okay also uh, the electric drives provide the protection uh, also for in case of the advanced control like the changes with the help of level pressure or temperature in that case the electric drives are mostly being used 